Hey everybody, it's Jonathan Kaplan here, Real Dr. Bay. Time for another Bay View. I wanted to talk about the evolution of the butt. Uh, you know, we're so butt obsessed right now. People want fuller butts, more hip dips, things like that. But you know, where did that all come from? And if you really look at history, kind of that fuller body, that look, that voluptuous look, that was actually a thing back in the 15, 1600s. Peter Paul Rubens, famous painter, painted all, all of his paintings were really known for all the nude, voluptuous women in it. And so that was kind of the thing back then. That whole thinner, petite, waifish model, that was more of a thing like the late 1990s. So that's more of a recent thing where we went back to like wanting like that thinner, ideal aesthetic. Not, not necessarily saying that's what everybody wanted, but that's kind of in the, in the mind of the public, that, that thinner body you saw from the models in the 1990s, that was kind of the, the supermodels, that was that thinner, that thinner body. But then enter J-Lo in the early 2000s, she brought back the bigger butt. And it not, wasn't necessarily just like a huge butt, but it was just like a more full butt. And then it, that really kind of took it to the next level in the uh, early two, 2010s with the Kardashians. And it really wasn't just about a big butt, it was also about a thinner waist filling in those hip dips. And the hip dips, I just want to say, is like a totally normal anatomic structure. It's just that depression between your hips and uh, pelvic bone, the uh, upper part of your pelvic bone, and the hips, that natural like depression there. That's called the hip dips. Totally normal, but people don't like it. Now they want them filled in, and that's kind of what the Kardashians brought on was the thinner waist, the bigger butt, and the hip dips. And it's just so funny that that's kind of what we're, where we're at right now. But we've really come full circle back to what we started with in the 15 and 1600s with those Rubenesque, uh, those Rubenesque figures where we were looking for women who had those fuller hips and kind of that more voluptuous look. So just like any trend, it comes full circle. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this tour through the history of butts. And if you have any questions or comments, just comment below.